we'll give that a try. This could just be what's up. This is the dryer side. Renette, how we doing? You got anything? And Chilios. We got anything, Renette? No? Nothing? It's a little better? Well, it's a little cold to be out here, honestly. And, um, so this was it. Oh, what's up, Artist Vision? Bree Bree. Now we're good? Okay, good. Bree Bree. Bree Bree. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, listen. Um, I want to say, you guys, BrotherDank.com is up. Yeah, this is my last, well, I might be here tomorrow. Just, that's it, though. So, let me tell you guys how I came here. Can I? And BrotherDank.com is up, so, like... We'll take you guys, like, kind of full circle. Okay? Full circle. Nope, I dropped Bree. Dropped her. Okay. Or maybe she just didn't want to hear it. She didn't want to hear it. But seriously. Seriously, Renette. I was being gang stalked in Portland by the government. No, it's called future crime prevention. Okay. So that was going on for a while. For years and years, for years, and I was just gang stalked every day. And then I know, right? Have you guys heard of that gang stalking shit? So for years, I was just gang stalked, and then um, I was like, you know what? I gotta. This has got to. This is, something's got to change, right? Something's got to change. I mean, they ran me away from my employment. Like, uh, they just never gave me no peace. I was homeless. What are you still? What are you still doing there? Well, dude, like, uh, it's everywhere. I mean, I guess it's more here than other places, but also because it's my space, dude. This is my space, dude. This is my like little area, dude. Hold on a second. Here, why? Why? Because any time and any given point, I can make my little point here. Yeah. I can make my little point here. That's what I did. I said, you know what? Y'all can come. Y'all can come creep out here when you can afford it. When you can afford to point your computer at me, but you can't point that shit at me all all the time. And they don't. Well, I'm not joking, dude. That's what the fuck happened. And I said, you know what, man? Let's let's get out of the little fucking neighborhood with all the little gangs and the drugs and shit. Let me go over here where everybody's chilling and I can control my environment. That's what the fuck I did. Portland, though, mm mm. And like uh, going back out into it, I don't even know where I'm going now necessarily, but um, but um, I know I'll have sanctuary there. I'll have sanctuary there. Chill out, Jude. Jude, don't call me Jude. Seriously, man, what's your deal? What's your deal, Alufi? Renette, what's your deal? What can we do for you guys? What can we do for you? Where to now? I don't know, Renette. It's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. No, nobody's feelings are hurt. Um, Renette, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to float around this town for another week or two. I might go to work for another week or two. And honestly, dude, I have no clue, man. I have no real good clue. I have no real good place to be. Like, uh, after like a week or two, I, I could like, uh, I could move down to like southern oregon i kind of wanted to go to puerto rico for a while it all depends on it all depends on when they call me down to puerto rico um also i need to check in with the native american church so i was thinking maybe doing that i was also thinking of going about but i don't have like unlimited i don't have unlimited funds or anything right now violin species i know right i know but I know, man, I know. I know, man. I know, buddy. i never been, nope, i never been neither. Is 
There's also like some medicine ladies. Medicine ladies. Well, I mean, it'll be all good. It's just like uh, I have to be patient and I have to do have to do, do all the little things. You know, well, it's actually gonna be Easter over here. It's like, oh, excuse me, excuse me. It's pretty much the desert. Now to think about it, like I lived in Southern Oregon for a second, but it's out uh, in the desert. No, it's a uh, it's a uh, Christmas Valley. <laughs> And bend and all that area. Christmas Valley and Bend and all that. Yeah. I mean, that's just one option to have. And, like, I'm not really going to feel bound out there because, like, I won't really have a lot of bills. It's just, like, sort of like a, a, a transition point. And... I'm telling you, BrotherDank.com, up and running, I'll be able to, uh, sustain, whatever, Ooh, I'll be able to sustain it, hopefully, hopefully, um, and coming out with Medicine Owl and all this, yeah, we'll be, we'll be connected, we'll still be working, we'll still be working on it, what is this other person, I can't see what it is, okay. I'm gonna put on some more clothes before I go walk to the store, though. It's cold, Renette. It's cold. <laughs> they got all them people in uh, in Portland homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like I was a couple years ago, getting gang stalked into it. My fuck die out here in the cold, man. For real. I'm not even joking. They do all the time. It's garbage, dude. It's garbage. Look, this whole fucking housing situation is garbage. I feel like squatting on this house just because, uh, for the principle of the matter. No hard feelings to the lady who owns it and is about to sell it or whatever. Who, who just sat on it for the last fucking, you know, 30 years or whatever. No offense to her, but... And, I mean, I know what the Vancouver Police Department is going to come out and do some illegal shit. I mean, I know. I know already. And I still want to do it. I know, right? I don't know, because you know what? Everybody should fucking deal with it. Last time I went down to the courthouse and I saw what the fuck was going on down there, I was like, oh man, I can't believe we let it happen. And this shit just keeps going on every day. Mm-mm-mm. Motherfuckers gonna force out of their house, huh? You know, I could make this a... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how cold it gets. We'll see if I got somewhere to go or not. I'm over it, though. I'm thankful for this space. I'm so thankful for this space, man. It's exactly what I needed. Exactly what I asked for. Exactly what I manifested. <clears throat> and some bad stuff happened here, kind of. But mostly good. I just lost my cats. That was the, the, that was the real negative. Lost my cats in the process. Free Bree. Free Bree, baby. Don't you know? Don't you know, Bree Bree? So this is it. This is the last time here. Hello. It's cool. It's cool. This is the last time. Ah, okay. This is the last time. This is the last time we'll be in our sanctuary, okay? Now, <clears throat> we came here. Specifically, to have a safe space where I could chill out and uh, have not be gang stalked, really, was a big point. And so, that's what I did, okay? So, like, starting, like, about two and a half years ago, uh, I, like, and the real estate, real estate's terrible here. Like, it's impossible to get a place with two cats. Impossible. And I lost my cats over the fucking course of it. Like, they were like, no, these guys have got to go. So even that happened. But, um, still, like, against it all, I know, Bree Bree.
PayPal to me backslash Brother Dank. I have stuck to it. I have stuck to it to have BrotherDank.com ready to blast right now. And man, now's the time to support. Next Profits with us. Welcome, welcome. You guys will ask for the share. So anyway, you guys, here's the space look. About a year and a half ago, I was being gang stalked in Portland. I mean, years and years and years and years of gang stalked constantly. And then the real estate crisis, right? Y'all know what that's like if you're not getting gang stalked by the fucking government and all the neighborhood gangs, okay? So, um, yeah, dude, Portland. That happened for, for too long. I said, you know what? This is it. I put my foot down. And, like, I worked, I, I was crossing the river. I was crossing the river every day to go to work and getting gang stalked the whole time. Do you understand? And so, at a certain point, separated me from my employment, you know, like, uh, drove me homeless, all the things it's designed to do, y'all. And, uh, but, like, my boss was true. He stuck with me. Like, my, my former roommate said, let me sleep under the stairs type shit, you know. And, uh, eventually I got settled up and I was, like, looking for a place. It's impossible to find a place, you guys. But I found, like, I found, like these old dudes, they were, like, subletting off of the, uh, subletting off of the old lease there. So I got, like, an illegal, illegal sublet situation, which is all you'll get around here. All you ever fucking get. Unless you're a fucking millionaire. Never fucking come here. I swear to fucking God. And I curse it like that. Anyway, miracle. I've been here for fucking three years. Yeah, it's super sweet, dude. And so, like, um, was it exactly what I needed to sort my shit out and fucking be strong? Yeah, dude. Brother Dank was born here. Brother Dank was born back here on Periscope, you guys. Come on a second. Brother Dank, Brother Dank, that was given, that was given right here, you guys. Brother Dank was given right here. So, BrotherDank.com, you guys, get with it, get with it. What's up, Suela? Yeah, we like it. We like, oh, you're just a bot. I have to block you. I'm sorry. I have to block you there. Okay, but you guys, Brother Dank was given. Would you guys like to know what Brother Dank means? Do I paint? You know, I. I do paint just a little bit, and if you check out uh, my Facebook, like my personal Facebook, you can see some of my paintings. I'll, I will lag just a second. I'm on mobile, but uh, I'm least of all a visual artist because I lack the vision, because I'm starved for the vision. Okay, I, I'll do some music and stuff, but but then again, you know, I, I do have a, some visual faculties here. Thanks, Bronx. Thanks, Bronx. Cool Bronx guy. Cool Bronx guy. Um, like, uh, basically whenever I paint, I just try to cover the canvas. I got this app on my phone. Oh, thanks, thanks. I want to play music this year. You guys, hold me to it. Hold me to it. Do I participate in mushrooms? Fuck yeah, it is. Fuck yeah, man. We do it. We do it. Do I participate in mushrooms? You ever heard of the church? I'm from Russia, brother. Blessings on Russia. Blessings on Russia. Oh, Russia's the best, dude. It's the people in Russia. That's why. That's why it's the people. Dostvedonia is the best in Russia. The Russians are the best. And you guys, you know what? You know why? Because all the bullshit aside, look, all the politics, all the gangs, all the money, all the games, all the jobs aside, love. That's why Russia love. What about acid? Yes, man. You shall be as the alchemist is what he told Moses. You shall be as the alchemist. What year is it? Oh, also the angel said, eat the little scrolls. What could that have meant? Eat the little scrolls. Brother Dank as uh, a Christian minister, and he's telling you, eat the little scrolls just like the angel does, uh, does and uh, and will today. You don't speak English, brother. Oh, it's no worries. Dos Fadonia. Dos Fadonia. This is all. Expanding your conscience. Listen, man, um, uh, also, a uh, doctrine I'm getting into, brother, Dank is delving into this. Everything is given as meat. As meat, bro. All the plants are given as meat. Okay, so try to look at these terms. And then when it comes up in the book of Romans, you see the weak and the strong. And so, like, it's like one man eats, eats only vegetables. Another man eats meat. Okay? So, pretty much, uh, drugs is all over, drugs are all over the word. You know what I'm saying? What about heroin? I mean, you gotta be a righteous alchemist, next prophet. You see, you see, no, I have not watched it. You have to be a righteous alchemist, bro. Look, the way they're slanging heroin right now is how the priesthood class is wielding the alchemy right now. Huh. So, look, what I sling heroin, maybe, and if it's appropriate, dude, if it's appropriate, if everybody's getting high, more likely not, dude, more likely not, because, um, 
that's just one it's not worth fucking with because there's so many other fucking things you could do with absolutely zero risk of addiction potential or uh, toxicity and shit like that okay when everyone knows oh i know next profit i know look look legalize new orleans have you heard about that look man the green rings are alive good good that's why we do it one time the cop asked me when he broke into my house illegally he said he's like digging in my phone brother dank brother dank is my name he's digging in my phone he's like he's seeing i was a reasonable person or whatever he's like where's walter where's walter your friend walter the drug dealer I'm like i don't know bruh he's like why what's with the beard what's with the beard man i said to make you ask stupid questions man Cause I figured one day there'd be an asshole cop in my house. I just wanted to chip him out. Just for you. Um, I mean, I've been homeless for a stretch. You know, I'm always 30 days out from it, bruh. Uh, let me tell you about legalized New Orleans, though, huh? You ever heard of legalized Louisiana? You ever heard of ONAC KM, dude? Medicine I was flying through, huh? For all the drugs. All the drugs, dude. Let me tell you about all the drugs in New Orleans. Okay, first of all, you got canopies of righteousness grown in the neighborhood by the neighborhood for the neighborhood and alchemists in every neighborhood now we already got them all right we already got them we see what they cook in the maths or whatever okay now what we're gonna put them on is righteous alchemy dude we're gonna put the whole neighborhood on righteous alchemy man come on this is in our hands it's at our fingertips it's an open candy store okay well here's what i'm saying let's build it let's build it righteously your instagram please brother brother dank Add Brother Dank everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Brother Dank. Thank you, Jella. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you, Angie. I see you. I saw you come in and I meant to say hi. I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, Angie's been here since the beginning. Angie, Angie, look. Angie, look. Brother Dank was born here. Brother Dank leaves here. Brother Dank leaves the place from where he was born to go out. Yes? To go out. Okay. Now we'll take a stroll around the yard. We will, we will. Um, we will, you guys. But listen, man, I know how it's a candy store, but also, isn't everybody, like, on some kind of bunk shit, mostly? Do you have any brain damage from drug association? Not really, not really. I have more brain damage from fucking, uh, dealing with people, bruh. I have more brain damage from, uh, working a job. I got more brain damage from uh, uh, being near cars. Let me tell you about uh, New Orleans, though. Look, man, everybody's on them bunk drugs. Everybody's on them blood drugs. Everybody's on the bloody block. Everybody's on that violence hip. Everybody's on the crime fear, uh, the crime paranoia. Everybody's on the fucking gang fear. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing, man. What if... What if, like, a, a what if there's a bunch of churches around there, right, trying to do something, huh? Isn't there? What if ONAC KM, uh, by way of Medicine Owl, your boy, Medicine Owl, New Orleans, my town, I can educate. Okay, here's the deal, bro. I'm legalized Louisiana, bro. Legalized Louisiana, bro. I'm here to work with you in New Orleans. I, I, that's what I need, man. I need some, I need you. I need you. I've been, I've been. Laying it down for a minute, okay? But here's the deal. Now, as of like last weekend or so, I'm flying through with ONAT KM. ONAT KM, bruh. It's the, it's the native church, okay? And we're singly, they're going to work on that weed. They're going to work on that weed, bruh. And we're talking about Victory Gardens, okay? Like, like you administer it, man. Like, you heal all the people. Like, you have an endocannabinoid system, and you can do it without killing everybody, and you can do it without murdering everybody, and you can do it without charging a fucking cent, huh? Bro, what if the whole neighborhood took care of that shit right quick, your daily dietary essential? And what if, okay, and what's that shit taken care of? What else does everybody really need? You're the next prophet? He's the next prophet. This is what we need. This is what we need. I need a prophet on the ground. So look, man. Tell the people. Tell the people. The whole neighborhood together, it helps. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we're doing, you guys. This is what Medicine Owl is doing. His brother Dink. Medicine Owl. On that KM. You guys? Okay, so pretty much, you, you'll see this coming through. Uh, uh, Prophet, you gotta get with me on this. You gotta get with me. 
I am home. Yes, I am home. I am. You gotta get with me, Prophet. Um, have you like legalized New Orleans yet? Cause uh, like I'm just gonna put the church word out through that, and like that's how we're gonna do it. But anyway, the, my other point is, everyone, you guys heart me if you're with me so far. Jesus is weed. Follow the prophet. Follow the prophet. Jesus is weed, literally, um, and energy medicine, and it's for the healing of the nations, the end of every curse. I just want to make sure we get through all of that, um, because because usually. Usually it's important to get through all of that. That's what Brother Dank, all of that is. But another doctrine, hi, Wob, another doctrine I want to point out. Oh, my boy, New Orleans is gone. Is weed good? Yes, of course. Weed is excellent. Weed is excellent. It's the tree of life. Jesus is weed. Jesus is weed, literally. Wob, weed is a dietary essential. It, it heals cancer. Anytime you have a disease in life, it's because you did not eat weed for your whole life. That's why you got the disease. 30, 32, I'm coming up on resurrection year, bro. Coming up on resurrection year. You guys, I did want to say, though, all the drugs will be, all the plants will be for you as meat, okay? So if we're coming in here to take control of these neighborhoods and shit and, like, shed some peace in the neighborhoods, what about ephedra? What about ephedra? What is meth? They cooked that shit in the fucking 1800s, like, NBD. NBD, you guys. Give me a break. This is what all the kids are eating, all the eight-year-olds, basically. Okay, so you're going to tell me that something that's perfectly good, it comes from a plant, I can't do this as the alchemist? Oh, no, no, no. we're going to do them all as alchemists. Hong Sport, the Jesus Spirit, oh, for some time, for some time now, where's my Luis right here? No, no, Las, no, no Las Vegas, it's uh, Louisiana, Louisiana. But look, man, here's the thing, here's the thing. I mean, I'm gonna come in there. I'm gonna come in there like I know how, like I got some sense. All right, I'm gonna come in there like we got some sense, and like we got some rights, huh? Like we got the right idea. And if the whole neighborhood signs on and says, "Yeah, let's do it," then what? Yeah, I mean, even if the church signs on, we are we're we got protections. You know what I'm saying? The church like get some protections because we got can at least articulate our fucking beliefs and shit. You know, can at least articulate that Jesus is weed. That's a pretty good argument. Literally, that's what it is. Um, right, right, right. So I'm, I'm putting that tweet in, man. I'm saying that we can go back and forth with it. I mean, I already told everybody to leave the world alone. Okay? So look, man, this is something I'll be doing this year. I haven't been home for a bit. But my prophet, I trust that you'll host your boy when it's time for him to come through. I trust that you'll host. Yes, weed. Jesus is weed, Wob. Jesus is weed, Wob. Uh, stay tuned to brotherdank.com. All the information, all the details, bro. Dude, right now I'm in, around Portland, Oregon, and I won't be for long. <clears throat> I don't really know where I'll be, but I do need to uh, go to Louisiana probably next couple of months. Oh, yeah, I need to go to Louisiana next couple of months, so I'll be in New Orleans if I go to Louisiana. I'll go there, and we'll talk about it. Who want to fight Jesus or Satan? Come on, man. You don't know the answer to that? You don't know the answer to that, bro? You know they got in a fight already a couple times? You know who won? Come on, man. Come on, man. Jesus is, Jesus is weed, man. Who do you think wins? Say just an accuser. Say just a nan 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 man. That's all Satan is. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus wins, you guys. Jesus wins. All Satan says, okay, Jesus or Harambe. Man, Jesus, I am Somalian pirate who's the British passport. Hey, man. Hey, man, Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate symbol. Jesus always wins. <laughs> Jesus always wins. And here's how Jesus wins. Everybody lives. Everybody's friends after you think Harambe would be Jesus? No, no, no. Jesus would be Harambe because he would make, he would turn the water into drugs and everyone would be friends. Jesus is free drugs. Jesus gives out drugs. That's how he wins all the fights, bro. That's how he squashes all the beefs, bro. What if Harambe had Muhammad Ali with him? 
Amen. Then you know what happened, dude? It would be that that more magdaddy of a party when all of the drugs hit Muhammad Ali's brain and all them boys' brains. It would just be that bigger. Good questions from this guy, Simon. I like your input. This guy knows how to periscope. <laughs> Good question. Uh, I'll see you guys. Um, Harvey Price, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. Didn't I tell you how he wins every time? By giving away drugs? Okay, my phone's going out. My phone's going out. Okay. Something about looks like stay off highway something. Okay, okay. Hey, Simon. Okay, my phone's about to go out, but we know Jesus always wins because he gives out free drugs. It's not ringing. It's not ringing. No, 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 no. That was just my phone saying, battery's dying, battery's dying. There you go. It is decent herb, and I got some wax on it. Got some wax on it too. So look, man, here's the deal. Let me tell you about it next, Prophet. Let's go inside, I'll tell you about it. Jesus said you do greater works than he did. It's up to you, buddy. It's up to me to charge in my phone. Jesus ain't gonna come do it for me. Jesus ain't gonna work all these miracles. Yes, sir. Okay. You've been to New Orleans? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, totally. But um, not as much as I want to. Like, I'm from Acadiana, you know? And so I didn't get out there as much as I wanted to. And uh, I was thinking, too, like, um, if I move back there, i probably live around there. Have I been to Somalia? No. No, I haven't. I haven't been to Africa. I would like to go. I'd like to go uh, to Ethiopia. And why are you not following me, Somali? I need transportation. What do you mean? I need a car or something? I used to be a small pirate, but the help of Jesus to change your ways. Is that so, Simon? Is that so? That's something. That's something, buddy. I'm glad. I'm glad that you found um, Jesus. Did he have all the good drugs, like I said? Is that how he did it? Is that how he saved you? Is that how Jesus saved you? Oh, I must have, I must be losing, uh, I'm losing all the power. I'm losing all the power. I've lost all the power. Hey, you guys, do we have power? Why did Jesus let you and save his mother child? Dude, that's the trip, man. That's the trip, dude. Jesus didn't do it. Jesus didn't do it. You can't blame that on Jesus. Jesus is just a symbol. <laughs> you can't blame him for anything, dude. Usually you know who you're going to blame. No, 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 no. You know who you're going to blame every time. Human beings, man. Human beings who do that type of thing. Human beings. It's never Jesus' fault. That's how I feel. That's just how I feel. I do play music, yeah. I do.
best I can. What? I don't really know him, but my dad likes him. I know Jerry Jeff Walker. I know, um, uh, like, uh, country song or two. I know, um, uh, did you say Jim Croce? Um, I know, I think it is. What else you got? Also, I had a, a capo somewhere. I can't find it. It's kind of annoying. Okay, you want to play wagon wheel? Okay, let me think what I can play with two of like. Um, All that I can deal with just find my own different songs and it was like go back to mind your own business <laughs> the other one was like uh, you know you're gonna change and I'm gonna leave like uh
that's alive there, just waiting for me. Uh huh. I think I dropped everybody. I can't really tell. I said there's some hangers on, but. My dad's alive there, just waiting for me. Whoa, and put it back in. Because it's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna restart it. Uh, 